Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20 in chapter 31. Chapter 31 is about Maxwell equations and electromagnetic waves. Now we know the electric field is given in this function, right? We can say this only have x component, Ex. So that means the electric field is in the e x direction. And we can write the function, the general function for e x direction as e naught sine kz minus omega t, right? And in this general equation, so very easily you compare this to, you can get e naught equal to the amplitude there, and k is a wave number, and then you get answer at there, and the omega as the angle of frequency, you can get it there. Now we have three quantities, e naught k omega. First one. What are the wavelengths and the frequency for the wave? Uh, it's not difficult, right? Now you can say you know the k. This is called wave number. So wavelength is 2 pi over k. So now you input k inside, you get answer there. Second part, ask the frequency of a wave. See, omega is the angle of frequency. So frequency equal to omega over 2 pi, right? And now you get answer there. Second part, Write down an expression for magnetic field. Now we need to look at the magnetic field. For magnetic field, we can see the key and omega will not change, right? It's still the same. So it looks like we need to find amplitude for magnetic field B0. So by definition, we know B0 equal to E0 divided by C. So we get answer there. Now deter determine the direction for the magnetic field. We know the electric field travels at x direction, and the wave travels at k direction. So the magnetic field must be in j direction, right? Because we know this is E and k and m is the perpendicular directions, right? The perpendicular relationships. So now this is j direction. Now we can write down the B expressions. See, this is the j direction, and the B naught. This is K, this is Omega. Thank you.